Mm. This is the stuff. Hey y'all, my name is Tyler and if you don't already know me, I am a visual artist. Today I wanted to make a video kind of like another day in my life as an artist, but um, you know, quarantine edition. Um, I've just woke up, it's like 10.30. Me and my whole family are home. Yesterday, the state of Louisiana was put on a stay-at-home mandate, so all of the businesses, as of 5 p.m. yesterday, all non-essential businesses are closed. Um, I think post offices are still open, grocery stores are still open, um, things like that that are deemed essential, but everything else is closed. And um, th that kind of scared, I'm not gonna lie, that kind of scared me. Yesterday, it kind of put me in a weird headspace. Um, this whole thing has been kind of weird for me. Um, and I don't really, I don't really know how to handle it because I just moved here and um, I just, I just moved here to New Orleans from Virginia where I graduated from college and I moved here right after I graduated and I have been having trouble finding a job, finding employment, figure out what I'm going to do with my life and as soon as I kind of got a job, I worked there for like less than two months and now I'm unemployed. So now I'm unemployed, I do not have a job and I'm pretty sure I do not qualify for unemployment because I also because I'm also trying to start my own art business. Um, I have an Etsy shop right, right now. I'm focused on making grad caps for people, um, like decorating people's grad caps for graduation. And um, this was my first year that I actually got, like I had my store open and I actually got a majority of my orders through the store and I'm, I was making really good momentum with that. And then graduation ceremonies started getting canceled. And when graduation ceremonies started getting canceled, people started canceling their orders. And so that was a really hard thing for me to handle in my business. I had to figure out, am I giving refunds? Am I not giving refunds? Um, am I doing partial refunds? <sighs> so that was really stressful <laughs> because I was also kind of like balancing my finances and stuff. But let's just talk about how this COVID thing has affected me personally while I'll get ready to stay in the house for today. So I'm just gonna do my makeup. I'm not doing, I never do anything like super crazy with my makeup, so don't expect, don't expect a full beat sis, cause you're not getting it. It's March 24th, it's about 10.30 in the morning. I haven't done anything today besides like get up and brush my teeth and stuff. So um, normally I would not put on makeup, of course, but since I decided I wanted to film a little something today, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. So yeah, so schools were closed on March 17th, I believe, and my day job that I got, I am an art instructor. I'm an art instructor at an after school program. So obviously if schools are closed, I don't have a job. So, Oh, that's a little light. That's not the right color, sis. This is the right color, dummy. So I just feel, um, so I just feel really weird right now. So what I do is I decorate custom grab caps for people for them to wear to their graduation ceremony. So graduation ceremonies have been getting canceled and some, I had to give it some refunds. I had to, I wonder if people just postponed it to all my classes some people postponed it until they figured out what they're doing some people are still keeping it so like working all that um was a little stressful and then once i kind of figured that out the state of louisiana was put on a stay-at-home mandate which means that all non-essential businesses were going to be closing at 5 p.m as of yesterday and until like april 17th and usually I go to Michael's pretty much every day to get what I need to make grad caps, like one at a time because I didn't buy in bulk just because I couldn't afford to. And <laughs> that was really stressful because obviously Michael's is not an essential business. It's an essential, essential business to me, but not to um, obviously everybody. Um, the post office is still open, but I'm really trying to limit, is, I'm really trying to limit how much I go out and I am in like large 
crowds and stuff because I am really worried about getting sick. I really, as I said, I live with my parents and I really do not want to bring anything on home. I also have a little sister, she's 10. So it's not like I'm just living by myself and I have to worry about just keeping me and my immune system safe. It's my whole family. I like, like literally everything I had planned for the summer, I had a I had an art show that was supposed to happen in Atlanta and that got postponed to May, but I have a feeling that it's just gonna get postponed even more. Um, or it should be postponed even more. Like I, I don't think that's happening. Um, so that's, you know, money lost. And then I had, and then I was gonna go to alumni weekend at my school in Virginia on the 28th. I bought a plane ticket and everything and then a plane ticket the day before stuff started getting canceled and stuff started getting postponed so it's just been really stressful and I think it has really affected my mental because I cannot I feel like I cannot ignore like I try to with all this time all this free time I have and I have all this um and I have like my parents have, my dad is a painter too, so we have a room in our house where we can, it's kind of like a studio where we both can go and paint. And like, I can't even bring myself to paint something like happy and cheerful and oh, I'm gonna paint this girl, this girl with afros and, with flowers in her afro or something. Like I can't even bring myself to do that because my mind is so cluttered and like worried about the future. I'm a big planner. Hold on, I can't talk to my eyebrows. So I'm a big planner. I'm a person that loves to plan things. Um, so when something like this happens, it really throws me off because I feel like I can't plan further than like the 24 hours in front of me. And that's really, that's, that's kind of really tough. And it's really, I don't know, it's really hindering the projects that I do try to do because even though some grad cats have canceled, I still have like some, a lot to do. Like I have like 20 something orders to complete and I'm just in a really weird creative headspace that I think um, a lot of artists get into when things that are kind of tragic and things that are kind of tragic that happen like this. Um, the only thing that I have to compare this feeling to is when celebrities die, like when Nip Nipsey Hussle died or more so, I felt it more when Kobe died. Like you kind of feel like as an artist you have a, a responsibility to make something that resonates with the people that are going through something like this or if you're like I necessarily wasn't a Kobe Bryant fan but I saw a lot of artists who were creating art creating art of Kobe um Kobe and Gigi and the other people that were killed in the helicopter accident and some people were profiting off of it some people donated the profits to Kobe's funds and some people just posted their art and let it be just let it be for free and so this is another one of those this is one of and I didn't make I didn't make really any art for Kobe I kind of did something with my dad um but I didn't like make that I didn't do art for Nipsey Hussle when he died because I wasn't like at the time that he passed away I didn't know much about him but now that I now I know more about him I feel like it's my me personally I feel like I need to make something that reflects how I'm feeling and I know a lot of people other people are feeling in this moment I don't want to make something that's doom and gloom I don't want to make something that um, makes light of the situation either um, I'm a person that's really about the facts like I hate that's another reason I'm really stressed right now because I feel like there's a lot of fake news not to quote our dumbass president but <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of false information going around that people are taking to heart and it's making the situation worse it's making the panic worse yeah I want to paint something that's factual and paint something that that this just describes how I'm feeling right here at the moment and I especially want like literally every day I wake up and it's something different it's something more tragic and and demanding so I feel like I just need to I feel like I just need to go ahead and do it and stop procrastinating because I have no other reason to put it off so my idea for the painting kind of came to me when I was in the shower this morning because I knew that I wanted to create something but I didn't want to make something you know like I said earlier negative super like down or whatever and I think I'm just gonna document the whole thing 
about how I make it from start to finish. I really hope that nobody thinks that I'm making this like for clout or I'm making this for attention. Um, I'm pro I might not even sell this piece. I don't know. I just really need to make it for me and to calm my mind because I, I just have I just have to do it. Like it's some I I don't know what it is. There's this tweet from one of my favorite artists that I follow on Twitter. Well, he's a, he posts his art on Instagram, but I follow, he tweeted this out. And his name is Marcus Prime. I'm gonna read. So he tweeted on March 18th. Um, this is actually the day after I lost my job, so that's why I screenshotted it. But he said, creatives, I need you to dig down deep. The people need you. This will be a renaissance period, period, and your kids will see how important art was in giving people hope. We all struggling. Be if you can. Create. Do it, please. <sighs> So yeah, that's just that's just how I'm feeling about it. That um, like I really don't care if two people see this video or two people like it. Like I'm really just creating it for myself. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing what I come up with, please keep watching. so this is where the painting is right now it's like six o'clock uh, i'm gonna take a break i'm gonna eat some dinner i think i'm gonna finish painting the hand and like details and stuff tonight and then i'm gonna start getting everything together for the background because um i really want to add some newspaper headlines to the background so but yeah my mom is in the kitchen making dinner 
We're having spaghetti. So. All right, so I feel like I need to explain what I'm gonna do in the background. So I left a lot of space on it because I knew I wanted to put something back there, but I didn't know what. So I had the idea to use the newspapers that we have been getting throughout this whole thing. And it's actually pretty interesting to look back and see the headlines get like progressively more and more aggressive. So I'm thinking about cutting out the headlines that pertain to like quarantine and social distancing and COVID in general and placing it, collaging it somehow in the background. This is probably the first time I picked up a newspaper in uh, like ever. Well, not ever, but I actually looked at it and read it for what's inside of it. So yeah, so I'm gonna cut out all the headlines that I think I'm gonna use and then I'm gonna arrange them in a way that I think looks good in the background. <laughs> So I finished the painting yesterday, now all there's left for me to do is to take pictures of it, hang it up, see what it looks like. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it, so I'm just about to hang it up. At the end of the day, I think I accomplished what I want to accomplish with this painting. I feel a lot better. I feel a lot like lighter. I feel like I was emotionally, I was getting really heavy while I was making this. I feel a lot better now. So let me know what you guys think of the video. Leave me a comment book below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll probably be making tons of videos now that I'm stuck at home with nothing to do so if there's something you'd like to see me do i don't know drop it in the comments and i might do it so thanks for tuning in